this cane is uh, we intend to replace the existing technology with it. It uses ultrasonic sensors to send ultrasonic signals which bounce off of objects and come back and they receive the signals. And it takes those and it relays them to uh, information in the handle uh, through ways of using vibratory motors which um, will vibrate in pulses. So it will vibrate one pulse per second for every eight feet away an object is. And as the object gets closer within that eight foot range, it will pulse faster and faster to the point where it is at a solid vibration when it's within about six to eight inches. Um, there is a slightly similar technology that was on the market. It was removed. It was um, about the size of a small lawnmower. It used, I think, a row of 16 sensors. And it was very expensive as far as price goes. This, um, our prototype price point was at about $140. And um, when it comes down to manufacturing, we think we can get it almost under 80 cost. So this this would be to replace the traditional walking cane for a, a yes. blind person? Yes, we believe that the technology will be a lot easier to adapt to, um, that its lifetime will be a lot longer, and that it will ultimately be a lot more helpful. And as far as the actual technology behind it, what, is this a or this is Arduino our board, or what is this? That? Is, yeah, this is our electronics. Um, this chip right here has all of our code on it in the whole program. And um, this is just uh, the power supply and the amplifiers to get the signals to get the eight foot range they need. And um, when it's all in the cane, it's, it fits in a small box that just straps around up near the top of the cane around here. And uh, as we get further with this, when we get it manufactured, we want to have all the electronics just to slide in the handle. Now, did you did you do the coding and stuff like that too? This was all done by another person. We uh, worked collaboratively on the program. All the electronics was done by. Uh, Alex, one of the members of the team. What what kind of what kind of program language was used to code it and all um, that kind of stuff? Basic state. Okay. I'm James Miller. This is our hybrid electric car. Um, basically, we're running four car motors. There's uh, four 12 volt batteries under there, 48 volts total. And to, to keep them charged, we run the, the Yamaha generator. It goes straight to the batteries, and the batteries power the motor. It's a pulse motor, so we have the, the, the controller down below to give it pulses of electricity and keep it spinning. Are the batteries um, lithium ion or are they yeah. okay. just like a normal car battery? Um, they we got it, it goes to about 50. I haven't gotten it up there yet, but a max 30. And um, 50 miles to the gallon. It's pretty uh, like we, we tested it uh, yesterday. It lasted about two and a half hours uh, before it died out. What, what happens when you guys are driving this around the streets of Merrimack, New Hampshire? Oh, we, we haven't driven it yet. It's street you're, you're, legal, but street we have legal. to register it first. Okay. And if somebody needs a motorcycle license to actually drive it, it is considered a motorcycle. Yes. But without this thing, um, it's just on battery power. Probably goes half as long. And this is this regular fuel or yeah. it's biodiesel? This is just gasoline. 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 Okay. Yeah. And it goes to the DC DC converter into the battery. And how long did it take to develop this and how much did it cost and all that? Um, basically all together it was like five thousand dollars. Just the body and the frame. That was about three thousand dollars. And this was like fifteen hundred with the controller. Did you build the frame and the body and all that stuff? Or no, was this, this was a kit. So you gotta hold it your hand and stuff just to tell us. That's kind of like your, is that your speedometer? Or? No, we do have a speedometer right there. Oh. Um, but the voltmeter just tells us our state of charge. Do you guys know Right. Yeah. Where is, like, is the shelf? GPS system and where is the uh, stereo? <laughs> That's maybe for the next. We, we left it in Maranac. Okay, that's for the next <laughs> yeah. next iteration of it. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it luxury next time. Is pretty much this one, yeah. which filters out the bigger stuff. You see, because of how thick it is, twigs, stuff like that. The next one is this, which has like charcoal in it, and it'll filter out the no, smaller don't. stuff. No, you do not. Then down here will be the membrane. This is actually just like jello because we can't bring real bacteria in here. So it's actually bacteria. Yeah, there's live bacteria that eats the oil inside. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 